What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So I thought I would pick up the camera today and do some vlogging because I have some stuff to do today and I also just have some interesting things that I want to show you guys. So I know I don't do a lot of vlogs on my channel. I definitely need to do more of them, but I'm actually on the way to go pick up Mello from his grooming appointment, which I'm really excited for you guys to see because Mello is such a little handsome boy right after he gets groomed and I haven't really shown him too y'all right after his appointment I feel like every time y'all see mellow it's always right before he gets groomed so he looks really scraggly yes you thank you right, you, have one you too sorry I'm at Chick-fil-a I had to get me a drink because the groomers is a good 30 minutes away and I really needed a drink so I just got me a little soda water to drink on the way there but um I can't go because I'm stuck behind a car that's the only bad thing about the way they do their orders here at Chick-fil-a is that if you get your food before the person in front of you you're stuck anyways okay let me take a sip of this because I am thirsty <laughs> Oh, so good. Chick-fil-A soda water is fantastic. All right, guys, I'm pulling up to the ATM right now. I got to pull out cash to give to the groomers. So let's do this. Okay, got my cash. Mello's groom is $75. It's usually 65, but whenever he gets his anal glands done, it's $75 and then I just tip $5 because I don't know, I would tip more, but honestly, $75 to get your dog groomed to me is so expensive. I feel like back in the day whenever people got their dogs groomed, just based on what I heard, it was 30, 40 bucks and now $80 for a groom. That's why, okay, so I really want to get another dog, but if I get another Shih Tzu, that's going to be $160 every four weeks. Uh, no, every five weeks. I take Mello every five weeks. So yeah, 160 every five weeks to get two dogs groomed. So I'm kind of like, maybe I should get a different kind of dog, but I don't know what other kind of dog I would want. My groomer's daughter actually has a French bulldog that just had puppies and I think they, I think she still has all the puppies because the puppies have to stay with the mom, I think up until six weeks or eight weeks or something like that. But I really want another Shih Tzu. It's just, there's so much maintenance. Mello, I have to brush his fur <laughs> every day or at least every other day. Otherwise he gets a bunch of mats in his fur and it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys once we go pick up Mello. Okay, just picked up Mello. Check him out. Mello, look at the camera. <gasps> look at the camera. You so handsome. I'll give y'all a better look at him. But, oh my gosh. I wish I would have brought my camera in there because they had the French Bulldog puppies. They are so freaking cute. So, Chanel, which is the daughter's... French Bulldog, which is the mother of the puppy. She was in there. Mello loves playing with her. So she's had that dog for, I think almost a year now. I've been taking Mello here for a while and Mello loves playing with Chanel. And then the two little babies, oh, they were so cute. I wish I could have shown you guys. Okay, let me show y'all a better view of Mello. You wanna show off your haircut? Stay right there. Oh my gosh, Mello, you look so handsome. You look so super handsome. So I wish I could find somewhere that was a little bit closer and cheaper, but honestly, she just does such a good job on Mello that it's worth it to keep coming here. But, oh, Mello, you are handsome. You are super handsome. Okay, so let's head back home. By the time I get home, it's gonna be lunchtime. So I think I'm gonna make lunch at home. I kind of wanted to get Chipotle because they have tacos at chipotle that's actually so good i discovered them and i've been well i've only gotten them twice they're so good though but i think i'm still gonna make lunch at home because gabe and i had thai food 
last night so I need to eat in today but oh my gosh Mello you are so stinking cute we made it back home I'm just walking Mello right now before we go back inside I'm not gonna walk him for too long just because I only have about 30 minutes to make myself some lunch and then I have a recruiting meeting well it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my recruiting manager so I'm gonna chat with her um, for about an hour and then finish off my work day oh I think he's about to poop let me turn you guys around so y'all don't see him pooping okay let me clean this up and then i'll see you guys once we get inside it's beautiful today by the way it's like 78 degrees right now which is crazy med are you munching on your treat you munching on your treat treat <laughs> okay so i just gave mellow his treat he gets three treats a day his first treat is always this brushing chew that cleans out his teeth and then we give him another treat when gabe gets home he gives him a treat um usually just like a fun treat and then we give him a third treat at night once we bring him up after his nighttime walk so three treats a day he eats twice a day now um, so he's on a pretty good schedule. He knows when it is treat time. I give him his first treat after his walk in the morning. And once we come up from his walk, he will just stand by the closet where his treats are until I give him <laughs> his treat. And then once Gabe gets home, he just waits at the treat at the closet door waiting on his treats so the treats is a very important part of his daily schedule here's my outfit you guys know i love my ootds i post all of my outfits on instagram so if you guys like seeing my outfits i know i mostly do food videos on my youtube channel but if you guys want to see more of like what i wear go follow me on instagram i'm trying to grow my instagram but it's honestly really hard to do that so just follow me over there but yeah this top is from PacSun I'm just wearing some black leggings because you know I was out and about these are from Aerie I love these and then I have my crusty dusty Air Forces I actually have a new pair of Air Forces on my shoe rack I just like the old beat up pair because I don't know it just gives the outfit character so <laughs> follow me over on instagram to see all of my ootds i also post gabe on my instagram from time to time so if you guys want to be nosy and see gabe also follow me on instagram i'm gonna try and get gabe in this vlog i don't know if i'll be successful y'all know i try to sneak him into my <laughs> what i eat in a day videos he doesn't mind when i do that he just doesn't like being full on talking on the camera because he's very camera shy but i'm gonna see if i can sneak him into this vlog lunch is now complete so i'm just having a little simple sandwich and some dill pickle chips i am gonna get factor again i'm just waiting for it to come in the mail so i love having factor for lunch but while i'm waiting i'm just gonna have a sandwich sandwich um oh why is it so pink okay sorry the footage was really pink but i think i fixed it now so yeah these sandwiches i mean they still hit so hard for lunch and especially whenever i'm kind of low on time for my lunch break these are really fast and easy to make so i still enjoy me a good sandwich for lunch I am super excited for after work because Gabe and I have been playing the new Harry Potter game. It's called Hogwarts Legacy. It is so much fun. We have been really enjoying it. The only thing is that I've never used this PlayStation controller. When I game, it's on the PC, so I'm used to clicking with the mouse and so the fights, the combat in the game is so hard if you don't know the controller well. So sometimes I have to get Gabe to do the fights for me because, yeah, it can be really hard work in that controller. It's so entertaining. So we just like switch off. He'll play for like an hour or two and then I'll play for an hour. So we have two different profiles, but it's funny because <laughs> Gabe has to do a lot of the fights over for me because I ask him to do some of the fights for me. Hopefully I'll get better at it as I learn the controller, but it's a little hard. I'm going to finish my lunch and then I'll probably see you guys after work because I have my meeting with my recruiting manager and then I just have to do a bunch of sourcing for some jobs that we have open. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the day until 5 p.m. working 
and I'll check in with you guys once it is fun time again. <laughs> okay, I got five minutes before my meeting starts, so I wanted to talk to you guys about books really quick. So these are a lot of the recent books that I purchased. I do have my Kindle, and the Kindle is the best thing ever. I love my Kindle. I've been binging some books on the Kindle, but I still have a few more paperback books that I need to read. Um, I read all of these. I still need to read this one, which is Seven Days in June. Then I also have Then She Was Gone, two Colleen Hoover books, um, Reminders of Him, and then Ugly Love. I think I'm going to start Ugly Love next. And then The American Roommate Experiment. This is a follow-up book to The Spanish Love Deception, and I loved that book, so I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Oh, I also read this one already, The Housemaid. I read this one, and I read the sequel. The sequel was so good. So that's my little paperback book collection that I got going on. And then I also have some more books up here. These are like a variety of books. I want to read Gone Girl. I think I read this before, but I'm not sure. I've seen the movie like a gazillion times, so I kind of want to read the book again. And then this book I picked up at a bookstore, like a used bookstore, and it looked pretty good, so I need to read that. Yeah, we got a few different options up here. Okay, so it is now after work. I actually finished up a little bit early today and then I went to the gym and got an hour of cardio in, which I am very happy about. I've actually been going to the gym every day for the last month and a half. I go five days a week, so not necessarily every day, but I always do an hour of cardio. It's really nice because it gets my body moving and I already see a difference in the overall toning of my body. I'm not trying to like lose weight necessarily. I'm just trying to tone up in certain areas and maintain my current weight um so i'm actually outside of starbucks right now i'm gonna head inside because i want to see if they have any of their new spring cups out yet and i'm also gonna get an iced tea and a cake pop because i want a little sweet treat before dinner and i also got mellow here with me so i think i'm gonna get him a little pup cup he's just chilling on my lap being a little good boy he's a sleepy butt today he always gets really sleepy whenever he goes and gets his haircut. What do you think, Mella? You want pup cup? <gasps> you want to do pup cup? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my cake pop and I got a peach green tea lemonade. These are so good. Unfortunately, they didn't have any of their new spring cups. I think they came out in another country, but I guess they're not out in the U.S. yet. I'm not sure. And then I also got Mello a little pup cup. So let's give Mello his pup cup. Oh, so cute. And then let them see. Let them see you drink your puck up. Huh? <gasps> but that's good. Is that tasty? Is that really tasty? <laughs> okay, let's see if I can drink mine at the same time. Look at his head <laughs> slung back to the side. Oh my gosh, Molly, you are too cute. You're getting it all in your beard and you just got groomed, Mello. Probably wasn't the smartest idea, but hey, he's getting treated. Man, their peach green tea lemonade, so freaking good. Ooh, I had to turn the AC on. It is so hot today, but let's dive into our cake pop. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These are the perfect little treat. They're so good. I could get these every day, <laughs> but I don't. I restrict myself. Okay, well, that was a nice little treat. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. I really wanna cook something, but we don't have anything to cook. So we'd have to go to the grocery store, but we may just go get something out to eat again. I'm not sure, we'll see. Okay, so we ended up getting cookout. I was really craving a burger, so I was one who suggested this, but I got the steak style double burger and some Cajun fries. And I also got some honey mustard on the side. This looks so good. Mm. Cookout always hits V spot. Mm. 
you want to watch Stranger Things? Stranger Things? No, Stranger Things. Um, Outer Banks comes out today. I never watched the second season. What? How? You, you and I watched it together. I didn't really pay attention to it, so I don't know what happened. I need to, when does it come out? The 23rd? Today. It's 2-23. Today, oh, today is the 23rd. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to watch the second season. Mando, what? you want to watch Outer Banks with us? Mando, you have nothing to say. The airport, and then we're going to swap a note into Mando. the car because we're staying for an extra Would you like to borrow the hotel? week. I, can, oh, I guess I could cancel that. Mega does your forehead <laughs> rubs, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, he does. It's not a big deal. Okay. All right, you guys. So it is actually a few days later. I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you guys before I close this vlog off because I did receive a very exciting purchase in the mail today and I wanted to share with you guys because I know a lot of y'all like my fashion related content. So we have a Gucci handbag unboxing. I cannot wait to unbox this. I am very excited about it and I do just want to say that every bag that I buy is very intentional. So I am really trying to curate a wardrobe that is filled with pieces that I see in my wardrobe for a very long time. Clothing is a bit hard because obviously our styles change, our bodies change and all of that. But when it comes to purchases like this and handbags, I really want a collection of items that I'm going to have for a very long time. So this is my first Gucci bag from the boutique. So I am very excited about it. So this is, I think, some special packaging that they have. It's just like a little Gucci tote bag. I think it's what you would get in the store if you were to buy it. It's like a shopping bag. But here is our actual handbag box. I haven't made a lot of purchases from Gucci, but I do love their packaging. It is truly beautiful, and the color green is just, like, mm, impeccable. Got our dust bag. Okay, so obviously I have not seen this bag in person before, so we're doing first impressions. Mello's with me. He's like, what you got, mommy? What's in there? So, the big reveal. da 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 Oh my gosh. Okay, so inside it looks like we have our straps. This bag comes with two straps. One of them is a chain strap and then the other is a shoulder strap. So let me get this bag assembled and all of that and then I'll show you guys the full bag. All right, you guys, here is the bag. She is gorgeous. So the reason why I bought this bag is because I don't have any brown bags in my wardrobe. I have a bunch of black bags and I have a white bag. I have like monogram bags, which this is monogram, but I don't have anything that has a lot of brown in it. And I really needed a brown bag in my wardrobe. So I was kind of in between a few different bags. The thing is, is that brown bags are really hard to find. And then whenever you do find a brown bag, it's not always like the style you want or you can't wear it how you want it. So I really wanted a shoulder bag. I have been super into shoulder bags here lately. Like this right here is so cute. Just a little shoulder moment. It also comes with a crossbody strap, which look at the detail. Wow, love it. Oh, I just I didn't even tell you guys the name of the bag. So this is the Gucci Horsefit 1955 shoulder bag. This is actually a new bag. So they have this bag in a bunch of different styles, but this rectangular shape is new. So I was actually going to get this bag in a different size. It was like taller so it was more of a square shape but I just couldn't get myself to bite the bullet and it also wasn't a shoulder bag. But then whenever I saw they came out with this one. I had to get it. I had to get it. Okay, so here's the bag crossbody. So you can wear it like this. I really like the chain that it has on it. I don't really have a whole lot of bags with a chain strap, so that's definitely something different, but wow. This is a gorgeous bag. And then you can also wear it just on, like slung over your shoulder like this. This is how I wear most of my Chanel bags, or I wear it shoulder carry, so that's 
the bag like that. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this bag. Okay, here is the bag shoulder carry. So this is how I'll probably wear the bag most often. I just think it's like really nice to have your bag on your shoulder it actually looks super cute with my current outfit so this is why i wanted a brown bag because with an outfit like this i really want to have something brown instead of black or white okay well she is a beauty all right you guys so that's gonna be it for this vlog i hope you all enjoyed it let me know if y'all want to see more vlogs like this or if you want to see more fashion related content or whatever you want to see let me know i love you guys so so much please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.